what up everybody welcome to another episode in the last episode an amazing draft if you didn't know what happened go take a look basically we got a an awesome steal in the draft multiple of them in the fourth round we got a bottom six forward um, we got an elite offensive defenseman that dropped down to us at six go watch that episode we made a trade as well great episode great episode now time for the offseason though, to really begin. We got 30 mil in cap space. Carey Price is uh, fine, so we don't have to worry about a goaltender, but we do in the offseason. Because I'm releasing Montoya, we need, to, we need to save cap space for a backup goaltender for sure. And hopefully gonna sign another one for the AHL just in case Price gets injured like he does fucking every year, it seems like. So in terms of top players, and one thing to note, Marshan is listed as a first line forward again. That's good. He jumped up. So he, he was listed as a second line forward for a while. He jumped back up. I guess he had a, a good season. And he did, if I'm not mistaken, have a great season playing on the second line. 51 points? Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Almost a 20 goal score. I, that's solid. But time to resign. We, we don't have to re-sign Marshan because we did get him in free agency a few years back for a two-year deal. But Gelchenyuk, number one priority on the team by four. He wants six years. I'd be willing to go eight, but six years is going to be the cheapest. I'm okay with that for sure. I'd like to go eight, but I'm okay with uh, six years. Let's try and get him for 6.5 million. If we can, that would be a great contract. I'm going to offer him that. The next one is Bo Yu. We have to sign Bo Yu. If we can, I'm going to sign it. Okay, 5.1 mil from 4.9. I'm going to sign him to 8 years if possible. And I'm going to I'm going to try and get him at 4.5. That would be great. Uh, should we yeah, 4.5. I'm okay with that. Um, can we advance a day from here? No, we can't. View Legend? No, we can't. That's okay. Anybody else is a must sign? Shannon? Let's sign you to a deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ballsy. This was in NHL uh, 14, I do believe. This was a really good trick. If they have low elite potential, sign them to an 8 year deal because they don't want a lot of money because the game recognizes the low potential. But if they do fulfill it, then we have a player for like 2 million that's an elite player. So definitely going to sign him to an 8 year deal. If he, if he ends up a bust, well guess what, he's already 82, he's going to be a great player. I'm going to sign him 2 mil for 8 years. Anybody else a must sign? Mir, I'd say you too. Um, okay, so actually I'm not going to do Mir just yet. Anybody else? I'm going to let Quincy... Yeah, I'm going to let Quincy go. I'm going to let... Anybody else I can let go real quick. I'm going to see if these three accept it. I think they... Uh, it's tough to say. They might not. I don't think I lowballed them too much. I'm going to advance a day. Let's take a look at what's happening. Accepted by Bolyu. Gelchenyuk. Shane him no. That's okay. The top two major guys. We got Gelchenyuk 5.5 was it? Or 6? I, I forget the exact number. I have a bad memory. Let's take a look right now. 6.5. That's crazy. That's amazing. So let's go to defensemen. Let's take a look at who we got assigned. Nikitin, I'm gonna release you. Hanley, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign you. You could you could potentially be a good depth forward of the future, a two way deal for sure. And then Shanem, he wanted more money. I'll give him I'll give him 2.2 2.25. I'm okay with that. He's a great defenseman. 2.25. That's all for defensemen. Let's go to forwards now. Byron, we don't need you. I'm gonna release you. Belmore, you should want a two-way deal. Perfect. Dejardin, I'm sorry, I'm going to release you. 
Great to have you on the team. Glad to get you a Stanley Cup ring for sure. So, Belmore, did we not offer him? I thought we did. Uh, top, fi uh, top six low Lind, sure, two-way deal. Oh, maybe, did we not? I thought we did Belmore. Yeah, we already did him. That's weird. Okay. Radulov, I am going to... I I'm going to wait for Radulov just to see what the team looks like. Going to cut a few unnecessary players here. Strom, top six, yep. Just going to get all the two-way contracts out of the way. May as well. Um, don't need... Oh, he's already 77. He's a good depth guy. Yeah, I'll, I'll offer contract. A two-way deal for three years. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Offer you a contract. Lekin in for sure. He wants to talk to me. I don't know why. I'll do that in just a second here. And Mir. Gonna do Mir now. I'm gonna sign him to just a two-year deal. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do... You know what, I'm going to do a four-year deal. A four-year deal at, like, 2.7. That should be a good amount for him. I'd like to get him back on the team long-term. Let us simulate another day. The, the overall um, morale of the team is bad, but that's because we didn't make the playoffs. Let's advance the day. <clears throat> accepted, 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 accepted. Wonderful. Everybody is on the team. We just got a few big guns to sign like Patch Ready and Marchand. I don't know what I'm going to do with them just yet though. So in terms of everybody, who do we have to sign? We got 19 million cap space to sign these guys. Let's take a look at what we got going on. So we got on forwards, we got Galchenyuk, Marchand, Patch Ready, Gallagher, Hurdle, and Radulov. Eakin, Shaw, and Mir, and then Huden, Della Rose, and maybe Lekkonen. So we do need to sign all of those guys because, yeah, we're going to need that depth. I'm just going to do a, I'm just going to do two-year deal for Radulov, uh, 1.8 for two years. Let's see here. Patch Ready and Marshan. Who do, who do I want to get I think both of them. Although, look at Patch Ready. All of his stats went down. I don't know why. Definitely Marchand, though. He's a great player. A really good, gritty player. My favorite player in real life. So, definitely going to go after him. But, I don't want to sign him long term. Definitely not. He wants four years. I don't know. I'll give him, I'll give him two years, honestly. Another two-year deal. I'll give him a seven mil... For two years. It's great that we got Galchenyuk for lower. I don't know how we managed that, but we did. Let us simulate another day here. We're going to get a little bit tight on schedule. I don't think it's going to get too tight, though. Rejected. Wait, what? Oh my god! I'm not happy in one. Wow! He wants to go to free agency! You know, honestly, I like the fact that they do that, but that sucks. Patch Ready might say the exact same thing. Wow. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try again. If Marshan says no again, I guess it's a no. Let's try Patch Ready though. Seven years. No way am I doing that. I'll do a two year deal. Yeah, I'm going two year deal. Seven million. Marshan, I'll try again. A two-year deal. I'll give him, I'll give him 7.15, a little bit more money. Let's take a look at what they say to that. Damn, not not looking the best at all. Advanced day. Oh wow. Okay, that was easy. That what was the point? What was the point of even having him say he didn't want to be a part of the team, if for 1.5. No, 0.15 million more. Uh, f only 100,000 more, he says yes. That's kind of pointless, but glad to have him back. Yeah, like, look at that. I think it might be time we go the se our separate ways. I don't know why he... I'm going to try the same thing. I'll give him <laughs> 0.15 more. 
more money. And if he says yes, then EA needs to fix that. Because I honestly do appreciate that players can do that now. I really like that. I think it gives more depth to the team. Or to the game mode. But in our situation, it's terrible. Advance the day? What is he going to say? Wow, rejected. Okay. We might not get Patch Ready back on the team. Montreal fans aren't going to like that. But I don't want to give him a ton of money. I mean... 12 million? Who do we got next year? Just taking a look here. Who do we got? We got Eakin. Anybody else? We got Emelyn. We can let him go though. So we got Eakin. Who else do we have to sign? Provenov. Wow. Uthelin. Okay, never mind. We don't have too many guys, but looking at yeah, we're not gonna get any a lot we're not gonna get a lot of cap space coming off. So you know what? It might be best to let Patch Ready go. I I'm, I don't want to give him a ton of money. Well, I guess, yeah. No, if we trade Shea Weber, we're going to have money for next year. But, wow, that's going to be a tough pill to swallow. What's it going to look like if we don't have him? We got Gelchenyuk, Morshan, and then Blank, who we might be able to get in free agency. We got... Gallagher, Hurdle, and Radulov. We got Eakin, Shaw, um, Mir, and then, yeah. wow, look at Hurdle. He's only an 81. Oh my god. That better go up. That better go up, I'm telling you. <laughs> that better go back up. I don't know what to do about Patch Ready, though. We might just have to let him go. He hasn't worked out so far. I mean, let's take a look at his stats. I mean, stat-wise, offensively, he's amazing. Senses, amazing. Physical, amazing. He's bad defensively, though. What point production did he put up last year? 65 points. He's a 20-goal scorer. Huh. He hasn't, he hasn't really blossomed, though. Shooting, percent, shooting percentage has been good. Game-winning goals, he, ha, he has fallen off a little bit. 30 years old. I just don't know what to offer him. I mean, two years. I'll give him... Aye, aye, aye. I mean, we don't, we don't have anybody that's going to fill in that spot in two years, do we? I mean, Hurdle's not going to... In two years, we really... Yeah, no, we could use... We could use Patch Ready for sure. We don't have anybody that's gonna... Like, it. defensively, people are gonna take over Shea Weber in, in two years. So it makes sense to get rid of him, but... I'll offer Patch Ready 7.2. A little bit more money? I'm not... I... Wow, this is the last chance to sign Patch Ready. If I knew that, I might have gave him, like, just a little bit more money. Like, 0.5 more. If he if he says no to this, we're going to lose Patch Ready to free agency. Wow. Let's see if he accepts. There might be some other stud in free agency. Rejected, yeah. He just wants to go separate ways, Marshan. I guess, I mean, I guess you could look at it like, um... Like some, like Marshan might have purposely used that to get more money. And some people just might actually not want to be a part of the team. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. That's just speculation. If it is, I, I enjoy that. I like that. So sign free agents. Time to take a look at who we got in free agency. Let's take a look. Wow. Oh my god. What a year for free agency. Holy shit. Okay, right off the bat, we got to go UFA and go to goaltenders. Who do we got? I don't think anybody good. Yeah, no starting, but we could go with Pavlik, who's a backup. Pavlik or Enroth. I mean, common sense would tell me to go to Pavlik for the two more overall but if we're gonna depending on who we're gonna sign for the first line and who we're gonna sign in free agency 
we might want to go with Enroth to save a little bit of money. Let's take a look at the stats. Poise, Pavlik get, has them on that. Let's take a look. Anything else that... Yeah, okay, Pavlik is definitely better reflexes. He's better in a glove and stick high. Enroth is a little bit more doable, but that's about it. Enroth a little bit more doable. Pavlik a little bit more poised and better reflexes. Okay, I guess um, Enros has him a little bit on athletic, but that's okay. I'd rather reflex it than athletic. Let me know which one we should go after. Let's take a look at defensemen now. Who do we got? We don't need anybody, but just to take a look. Tyson Berry, 89. Tyler Myers, 85. Or 87. And 85, Jake Gardner. 84, 80, we, there's anything you need, anything you need. Myers can easily, Myers and Barry could easily play top two minutes. You got top four, top six defensemen. In terms of depth defensemen, let's take a look. Here's everybody that is an 80 or lower overall. Let me know if, let me know who I should get for depth for the AHL. Definitely let me know on that front. And let me know if, I, I don't think we need defensemen. I, I, I don't think I'm going to sign one, but if you think I should, let me know. I, I don't think I'm going to, though. And then let's go to forward. We need a we need a top-line player. We definitely have options. And look at that. A sniper I've been waiting to get. Two of them. To Foley and Nyquist. Wow. Look at, look at to Foley's senses. Amazing. Amazing, 87 poise at 27 years old. What a stud. Nyquist a little bit worse on senses. In terms of defense, in terms of defense, Toffoli is better at defensive awareness and shot blocking by a little bit. And, oh, I mean stick checking. And Nyquist is better at shot blocking. Oh, no. Never mind, Toffoli's just better at everything. So Toffoli is a better defender. Physical, they're both exactly the same, except Toffoli's a little bit better in strength. So far, Toffoli's better at everything defensively and senses. Let's take a look at puck skills. Oh no, let's go to skating. Okay, definitely Nyquist has the edge. Definitely has the edge. He's a little bit worse on balance, but in terms of overall, he's way better at a skater. Very fast. 93 speed. Okay. And then let's take a look at shooting. Exactly the same. And puck skills. Puck skills a little bit better for, for Nyquist. So do we want to go with a better skater and better puck handler? Or better defense, senses, and physical? I say physical. Because, okay, that actually works out good. Because if we go with Toffoli, he's right-handed. Then we can put Marchand on the left and Toffoli on the right-hand side. It's working out perfect. I would much rather have Toffoli than uh, Pacioretty. In terms of there's Duchesne and Henrique, I don't think... Uh, we don't need him. We are set for Centerman. Both of them first liners. Henrique, or I mean Duchesne is great at senses. Henrique, the better defender. They're pretty even, just like, exactly like to Toffoli and Nyquist, Duchesne and Henrique, almost identical. Toffoli wants a little bit more money, but we have 12 million, that shouldn't be an issue. And then, we got, we even Brassard, holy shit, another first liner. Even Brassard is up here. Hansel, Komarov, Van Riemsdyk, he's fallen off a little bit. You got Silverberg and Carlson for the second line. Looking at looking at some depth here. Wilson, that could be an option. Let's take a look at his stats. A power forward. Um he's okay. He's okay. Let's just take a look down here. Any grinders? So that Smith? He's bad uh discipline though. Okay, but yeah, if you want to take a look, here's a door set. He could be an option. Definitely a lot of different options. Let me know what you think about that, and um, I'm going to go to 
trade and improve just to take a look at what we have on the team here I'll show you what we're working with defenseman I, we don't need it we got one two or let me go to overall one two three four five six seven defensemen even Sergachev coming up yeah we don't need to get a defenseman at all so I'm not gonna get a defenseman in terms of Fenomen, we got Galchenyuk, Eakin, Hurdle, and Huden. Hopefully Hurdle gets back up. We even have depth coming up like uh, Bethaden. Left wingers, Marsh yeah, we need more left wingers, but that's that's where we're lacking on a bit of depth. In terms of overall forward, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I don't know. Della Rose might jump up. So we got 10. So we'd want to get 3 to be safe. So we need a backup goalie. Most, in realistically, two goalies. A backup and then an AHL goalie for the, uh, for the AHL in case somebody gets hurt. So we could go with Pavlik and Bera. Pavlik and Helberg if we want. And then in terms of forwards, or is there any potential goalies? coming up we could go with Forsberg a younger goaltender if you want and then in terms of forwards I'm guessing we should go with Toffoli for sure Toffoli for the first line um, right wing and then we could go for left wingers we need a we need two left wingers so Toffoli Pavlik a, a goalie for AHL, but that can come two ways. So Pavlik, uh, Toffoli, and then two two of these guys. Two of so maybe like um, Wilson and Taluski. I'm not too sure. Let me know. Let me know which left wingers because I I think for sure. Yeah, guaranteed. I'm gonna go for Toffoli, goaltender. I can go for either. Um, Pavlik or Enroth, let me know. I'll take whatever one you want me to get. And then let me know two left-wingers depth that I could pick up.